Bella. Are you excited about Pride, Mom? We're gonna read lots of books this month. <laughs> Say yes. Yes. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Amy. This month, I think I'm going to try to vlog all my reading. Um, this month, which is Pride Month, month of June, I'll be reading all LGBTQ romances, fiction, whatever it may be. I think it's mostly romances that I've picked out, but if you haven't checked out my June TBR, it'll be linked down below. Go check it out and see what I'll be reading, or of course you can just watch this video. Um, and I'll just keep you informed on what I'm reading and what I'm liking. So of course today is June 1st, but I've already started reading Top Secret. Um, I read like, um, not quite 100 pages, but, but close. Let's see where. I read 90 pages last night. So pretty close. It's really good. I couldn't help but wait to start it. I was just super excited. Um, to, to get into it because it's one of the books that I've been mostly excited to read. So that's why I decided just to go ahead and read it first because I knew it was probably going to be a fast read for me because I was just super excited. Um, Serena Bowen and L. Kennedy actually wrote one of my favorite gay romance series. It's just, just a two book series. Um, I believe I talk about it in my TBR. But uh, anyway, it's uh, the first book is called Him and then the second book is called Us. It's a beautiful romance um, between two friends that have been together for a long time as far as like friendships and which kind of grew into something else. Um, one of them became like a, a hockey star maybe. I could, the sport could be wrong. Uh, it's been a while since I've actually read him and us. Um, I think it was actually one of the first gay romances I I started to read. I don't know what got me into reading gay romances, but it's become one of my favorite genres. Um, and it's just, it's one of those, one of those genres where I'm in a slump. I pick up a gay romance and I'm, I'm back into the reading game. Um, so yeah, so you, I guess you just got to find your, your little niche when you get into those little slumps, but that's my niche, I guess. Um, so anyway, yeah, so but we'll be reading a lot this month, so I'll keep you informed on my reading. So, Stay tuned. This cat, y'all. She's back in the same spot from this morning. It's like her favorite place to be, which is, I'm constantly in this room because where my books are, where I work from, film from, all that good stuff. So that's her spot. <laughs> she's always here, unless she's eating or outside. It's a Shelly. It's a Shelly girl. Where's she been? She's like, leave me alone, woman. Excuse my appearance. I just got out the tub and ready to go down for the night, even though it's only, I don't know what time it is, but it's early. <laughs> no, but I still have some stuff to get done. Um, but I did get some more reading done in the tub. I read about like two more chapters. So I'm on page 103 chapter. The chapters are fairly short. Um, oh, it doesn't have chapter numbers. They just have like, it's really cute. Cause they have like little pictures and then like a, a little phrase to go along with the chapter. Cause, um, the characters in the, like, um, Dating app. I couldn't think of the word. I'm tired. It's been a long day. Um, they, you know, they, they hooked up. Well, they haven't hooked up yet. So I would say this is definitely sort of like a slow burn kind of book, which I'm perfectly fine with. I don't really like when things happen too quickly because it just doesn't seem realistic, you know. Um, it's really, really good so far. Like, I'm really enjoying it. Like, I can't, like, I can't wait to actually, like, pick it up and read it. But the, the two characters, um, Keaton and Luke, they don't know each other's real names because in the chat room, they are, or in the app or whatever it is, <laughs> they are Lobster Shorts and Center 3. So each chapter that whoever is speaking, whoever you get the point of view from, um, is their little logo. So the next chapter will be lobster shorts. 
um, chapter. And then Center Three's little logo is like a rock and roll symbol. You see that? <laughs> it's it's really cute. Oh, my bookmarks fell out. I know where I'm at though. Um, really really cute. Really love it. Super excited about it. I knew it was gonna be good. I just knew it was gonna be good. But um, but anyway, that's where I'm at as far as reading goes. So I didn't really get much reading done today. I might read some more once I get into bed. So that's probably it for today. I may, um, if I get some more reading done before I fall asleep, <laughs> I may, um, check back in and just let you know where I'm at. But, um, so Keaton and Luke, like I said, they don't know each other's real names. They kind of, they've been like really getting to know each other through the app right now. And, um, the chapter I just read was a little bit more of them getting to know each other better without giving anything away. That's about all I can say, but it's really good. I, I can't express that enough because I re I'm really enjoying it. But yeah, um, so I don't know if I'm going to read some more. I probably will read some more, but I really kind of want to watch Nate and Jeremiah by design. I love that show is on TLC. Check it out if you haven't already. You can probably go back online and watch and watch some shows and catch up on it and stuff. But I love them too. They do such a good job on just designing and like basically transforming these people's homes into something magnificent. Like I would love for them to come over here and just redo everything. <laughs> Totally unrealistic, but such a good show. They're such a cute couple, and they have two like a young a young daughter. Like I think she's around like two or something. Like no, no, I think she's older than that, three or four. I don't know. She's adorable. Um, maybe five. And then they just had a, a son, and he's he just turned one not too long ago. So a little over a year. Super precious. I just I love them. Uh, so I might watch. A little bit of their show it comes on um, on Saturday nights and but I think it just like this episode just ended but I have two other episodes I'm three episodes behind so I need to go and watch that so I might watch that instead of reading because I kind of want to just I kind of want to see I kind of want to watch their show but we'll see once I get there we'll see what happens but if I don't see you tonight good night and I'll see you tomorrow Hey y'all, so today is Sunday. Um, I have not gotten to any reading yet today. It is currently 2.36. Um, I, my sister-in-law texted me earlier and she wants to get in the pool, which I was planning on doing anyway. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and change and get in the pool with Mump and just wait for her. I'm gonna read a little bit in the pool until she joins me. But yeah, it's been sort of a, sort of a busy morning. Uh, I filmed my May wrap up, which seems to take forever. I guess I had a lot to say about my May books. Um, so check that out. I'll have it linked down below. Um, so yeah, so that's where I'm at today. So no reading yet. Um, I just wanted to say hello. I finished it and it was so good. So good. Oh my goodness. It made me laugh. It made me, the, the ending, like close to the ending, um, made me cry a little bit because I was so into Luke and Keaton's relationship and I just loved it so much so I would just like I just felt I just felt for him oh it was so good so good but uh what I think I'm going to read um Blindsided next by Eden Finley the um this is the fourth book to the fake boyfriend series and I kind of decided that I wanted to see what was happening with my boys since it's been a while since I've like read the series but yeah so I think I'm gonna start on that one tonight and that's usually a quick quick read for me uh so yeah so that's what's been going on it's been a busy Monday I'll update with y'all some more I know this has probably been boring so far but it's just my book vlog but I'll try to take y'all along with me sometimes I know this weekend my friend and I Debbie and I are going on a little road trip so I might um, peep in and um, kind of show y'all what we're doing there. 
So yeah. What's today? It's a Tuesday. Tuesday the what? The 4th? Yes, <laughs> it's Tuesday, June 4th. Um, I just got back from Jazzercise. I did two classes tonight. There is like a challenge going on right now, but I'm not doing it because um, it's like 80 classes in two months. So basically 40 classes a month, which is insane. Um, but you can do it with a partner. You know, you can have a partner, but um, I didn't sign up to do it because, I don't know, the last time I tried to do a challenge, I like pretty much burnt myself out. I'm trying to go like twice a day. It's hard. It's it's really hard. But anyway, I need to go take a shower because I reek right now. Michael is not home yet. He went fishing after work on a Tuesday. Okay, boys. Um, but yeah. Oh, and I got all sorts of fun goodies from Thrive Market. I don't know if anybody else uses Thrive Market, but it's sort of like a Whole Foods online, but a lot cheaper. I mean, you get like these huge containers of stuff. Um, I'm trying out a new coconut oil. Um, just a huge container of stuff. And like you get two of things. Like I love these chips. These are my favorite, like guilty pleasure kind of chips. You get two when you order them. These are really good. These are for Michael. Um, but yeah, I don't know if y'all care <laughs> but moving on to books i did start what did i start today i started listening to aristotle and dante discover the universe it's really good it's it's so deep and the narration is is great like i was just sitting there you know like working and listening and i was like just so into i love when i can get a book like that because i don't know it just helps me it just keeps me focused and sitting and getting through my work and but because I'm still so into this book like I don't I don't want to leave my space <laughs> I want to find out what's going on so I think I'm on like chapter 10 or 11 something like that may even be further along than that but it's really good and I also started blindsided no no blindsided yeah blindsided last night the fourth book to the fake boyfriend series it's so good. Like I was even reading in between classes tonight. Cause I brought, you know, I had it on my phone, my Kindle app on my phone, and um, there's like a good 15 minutes, I guess, between classes, and um, I just sat there and I read and, and like, and I want to like, I can't wait to read some more, but I need to go take a shower. Um, yeah. So that's my little rant, and that's my book update so far. And it's Tuesday, June the fourth. So, who knows what will happen tomorrow. Hey y'all, so it's Wednesday, June 5th. Yes, <laughs> it makes up on my dates. Uh, anyway, I decided to get out and about today for, for lunch. Well, I actually had, um, at the end of yesterday, I decided that I was going to see if my um, esthetician had an appointment available for today. Um, cause I wanted to get some dermaplaning done and, um, some waxing done. So she had a 10 15 this morning. So I came into Baton Rouge and I did that and I really wanted my dragon fruit drink. So I came to Barnes and Nobles cause it's like right around the corner from Paris Parker and, um, kind of looked around. Of course I bought some books, nothing much though. I actually already read one. But um, I just wanted to have it because it's actually my all-time favorite book. I read this, oh, I listened to this last year on Audible. Uh, so I did not have a copy. So I've been wanting to get me a copy. So I was like, you know what? I have a coupon. I had a 20% off coupon. So I got this, The Woman in the Window by A.J. Finn. Absolutely love it. There's mixed feelings, I think, about this book as far as like reviews go. But so I guess you just have to you just have to read it to see if you like it because it, it is it is it's out there but it's it's great I <laughs> I loved it I can't say any more good words about it I do have a book talk on it I'll link it down below if you want to check it out so I got that and then I had to get an um stay sexy and don't get murdered by uh, Karen Kil 
Kilgareth and Georgia Hardstark from My Favorite Murder, the podcast. Uh, I love their podcast. They are just so funny. And I know murder is not a funny thing at all. But just the podcast, like it's like they tell stories of um, of these crimes and, and just kind of make it light and add some jokes in there. So you, you either love them or you don't. I love them. So when they came out with their book, I had to, I had to get it. So I knew that I did want this. I just hadn't, um, came and get it yet. So while I was here, I was like, I'm going to get that. And, uh, so anyway, so when I went to get my drink, it's just been an all around good day. So I had 20% off coupon. Um, and then this book was, uh, 20% off plus members say 40%. So I got 40% off that book. And then they had a sign in the, the Starbucks cafe that when you buy the biggest drink, which is a Trenta, um, you get a $5 reward card. So guess what? I got a Trenta. <laughs> I, I love this drink. This is the mango dragon fruit refresher. It's my favorite. So now I uh, it's lunchtime, so I'm gonna go pick me up something to eat and then head home because I got work to do. Can y'all see this? Like rain is it well it was coming in sideways, but my yard is flooding. came on. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so I tried to go to Jazzer Size twice this morning. First, I wanted to go to the 820 class and it like started pouring. It slacked off a little bit, but I was like, you know, I'm just, I'm not going to get in that. I'm going to wait till 930. Um, and then it just started coming down in like sheets of white rain. And then we got a tornado warning and it said to seek, seek, why can't I get that out? Seek shelter now. And I'm now I'm kind of like freaking out. Like, should I get away from the window and go in the closet? Like, what? What do I do? I did get a lot of reading and listening done yesterday. I have three hours of Aristotle and Dante left to go. And which I'm really liking. It's very, it's very different than what anything I've ever read. It's just, there's no like, there's no like plot, no storyline. It's just, it's almost like he's reading his journal um, is what kind of what it seems to me but it's done so just like beautifully I don't know the just the way it's written the way it flows it's just just very beautiful is the only way I can seem to describe it um, I'm really loving it and I can't, like I can't wait to see what like how his how he starts to progress and find himself and you know, that kind of thing. You know, he's like 15, 16, and, well, I think he's 16 now. I don't know if, like, he had a birthday, but I believe in the beginning of the book he was 15. Um, and he's got, like, a truck and a little job, and and then Dante, I'll get all, I'll get all into that maybe in my wrap-up, but I'm really enjoying it. Like I said, I have three hours left, so I'll probably finish it today. And then I'm a little over halfway done with Blindsided, which I'm really liking that, too. I'm really enjoying the story of um, Talon and Miller, which is like their, their last names. But that's what they call themselves. They're football players. They actually weren't supposed to have a story, and then the author decided that they needed a story. They were introduced actually in book two, um, which is triple play, I believe. I could be wrong. But anyway, um, yeah, they were introduced in the second book, and then... Um, and now they have their own story, which is a little different because it's not fake boyfriends. They've just been like the best of friends since college. And it's turning into something more. So that's kind of where I'm at. And it finally slacked. The rain finally slacked. But it's past time to go to judge size. So plus I don't want to get on the road. There's a tornado warning. It said till 945. So and it's just after nine. So I'm going to go to get to, back to work and um, tell y'all later. Books LLC. The mix engineer was Terry Hogan. 
The associate producer was Louisa Solomon. Aristotle and Dante discovered the secrets of the universe. Was directed by Emily Asher and produced by Claudia Howell. This has been a presentation of Simon & Schuster Audio. Aristotle and Dante Discovered the Secrets of the Universe is available in hardcover from Simon & Schuster Books for Young Readers. Audible hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs> I knew it was coming. Oh my goodness, that was so good, y'all. Like, I have been crying off and on for like the last 45 minutes of this book. I cried a little bit like during the book, but I don't even know what I look like. I probably look insane, but <laughs> um, it was it was just so good. It was, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just I don't know. I don't know how how to describe this book other than that it was just it was beautiful. It was truly a beautiful book. And I want more. Like I'm not I don't like that it's over. I want to know more about Ari and Dante. I I want to know. I want to know what happens. <laughs> I want to know all the happiness that they have found. I just... Uh, okay. I just had to say that. <laughs> hey, y'all. It's Saturday. There's Debs. And we are road tripping. We left at 3.13. We stopped and got snacks. And we are on our way. It is currently 3.34. Not even on the interstate yet. And we're eating Snacking. snacks. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's where we're at. So we're on our way to Abbeville. Two hours and 38 minutes to go. share it because it's huge. <laughs> it's so big. Not this streak. We're almost there. It's a cute little town. Take the next right onto South Washington Street, then turn left onto South Magdalene Square. It wants us to go that way. Yeah, I don't think I was supposed to do what I just did, but we're going to do this. Your destination is on the right. There's a lot of people over here. Oh, it's over here. It's over here. Oh, it's in the park. Okay. Yeah. We made it. We got us a nice little pad we're sitting on. The screen in front of us, I'll show you how pretty this tree is. Sitting under, there's the screen over there. It's a nice little park, cute little town. Oh, Bella, I missed it. She's like, Yeah, I missed you too, maybe. It's 11.47. I'm super tired. I didn't get any books read today, unfortunately. I am almost done with Blindsided. 
have just um, maybe two or three more chapters to go, I think. And um, I did start another audiobook. I started autobiog autobiography. <laughs> I um, had to think about it for a sec. But uh, so far, it's really cute, and I like it. But yeah, that's where we're at as far as reading goes. And it was just a fun-filled kind of Saturday. Um, I went to class this morning, got my workout in, and then, and then we left and had our little fun little road trip today. So it was a super fun day. I'm sorry I couldn't film um, very much at this this little thing. I kind of wanted to film a little piece of the blob. Y'all, yeah, well, that is, <laughs> was so 80s, but it was, it was actually kind of good in like a cheesy kind of way. I enjoyed it. It was a remake from like the 1950s version. Um, but it was really fun, but I was going to try to get a clip in there for y'all, but I didn't want to like have any type of copyright thing going on. You know, I don't know how that works, so I didn't film that. But, um, and then I was just so tired on the way home. We just barely kept each other like awake with just some slow conversations. But I think I'm done. I'm going to call it a night. I will see y'all tomorrow, maybe. Good night, Bella. <laughs> My sweet girl. Having a little tuna salad for lunch today. Just simple cucumbers, carrots, butter lettuce, and tuna fish. Bella and I like to share our tuna, so I put half the can in my salad and I give the rest to her. She gets really excited. But I am reading, I'm on chapter 15. <laughs> I couldn't quite make it out through through the camera of um, What If It's Us. It is so cute. I really like it. Ben and Arthur are just adorable. I love them. I also finished autobio autobiography. Sorry for my appearance today. No makeup kind of day. I washed my hair and just kind of blew it out and then just let it go. It was kind of frizzy. And um, I had to take my contacts out just to give my eyes a rest because um, my right eye was kind of bothering me. Not that y'all care. Not sure why I just told y'all that. But um, anyway, that's what's going on in my life. I haven't filmed since um, since Debbie and I went to Abbeville on Saturday night. Um, it's just been, I just haven't, no particular reason, just haven't picked up the camera because I forget that I'm vlogging this week. But I listened to autobi Autobiography um, and it was really good. Such a sweet, sweet story between the two guys, um, one, one struggling with coming out just because of his religion, being a Mormon, um, and the other just loving this Mormon boy and knowing that it's, it, the relationship just possibly can't go anywhere. It was such a good story. Um, highly recommend it. I'm definitely going to pick up the hard cup the the book, the actual hard copy. Also, I want to get the hard copy of um, Aristotle and Dante Discover the Universe because that was abs that was just so good. Two really good just just like a good lesson in life kind of books. So just just real life and like I don't I don't know what else to say about it, but they were just just two really good life lesson books uh, about love and life and friendship and just it was they they were just both beautiful so I definitely want to pick up those um, I have started listening to the BFF series um, from Devin McCormick which is a male um, male male romance um, I had read no I listened to the first book a while back and I really liked it and I just never like went back and read the other two there's like two more um two more books to that little series it's, it's BFF series best friend's father um but I recently learned from a, one of my subscribers to let me know that pretty things which I will be reading uh as probably as soon as I finish this book um it's it 
kind of comes off of the BFF series. So I went back and I read the synopsis and I was like, oh my goodness, yes. Yeah. So like the the father, it's basically, okay, Ty, Ty's father. Ty is going to be our character in Pretty Things. So his father is our main character in the BFF series where um, his dad falls in love with his best friend kind of thing. Um, so I was really excited to learn that. So I went back and I started listening to, I'm um, on the second book of the BFF series. Um, it's okay. It's not as good as the first one, as the first one is. Um, but it's, it's their story. So there is a third book. So I'm anxious to see what that third book is going to introduce to us. I kind of wanted to go ahead and read those before I got to Pretty Things. Um, just in case there are some characters in there that I'm you know, I'm going to miss. So I just want to have everything covered, all my grounds covered <laughs> before I jump into pretty things. So, so that's what I've been up to. Just lots of reading and listening and working. Um, and I just thought I'd show y'all my lunch today. <laughs> no particular reason. That's what's happening today. Finished it and it was so good. Um, I wanted to finish it last night, but I started falling asleep like very close to the end. Like I pretty much read like yesterday evening, I didn't have uh, anything to do. Um, so I just made my evening of reading and I almost finished this, but I started falling asleep. Um, and I didn't want to miss the ending. So I finished it at lunch and I will say that I'm disappointed in the ending. I want it more. But it was still so good. Just such a cute little um, young adult, um, male male boy boy <laughs> romance, I guess, um, between Arthur and Ben here. Just just so cute. Just like a little summer, um, a little summer fling. Very very cute. Highly recommend it, especially. For summer, such a, a really good, it'll be a really good summer read. I devoured this book. So, yes, I, I would definitely read it this summer. So good. Okay. I just want to tell y'all that. I don't know what I'm going to start next. Um, I might start the next um, BFF, the third book in the BFF series, because I'm listening to the second book. Um, and I have like two hours left, I think. So, and I'm out of Audible credits and I don't want to pay $14 for it. So I'm going, I think it's free with, um, my Kindle Unlimited. So I think I'm just going to download it, download the ebook and just read it. It shouldn't take me long. Um, and then I'll get into pretty things after that. I'm almost done with book two, which I'm not crazy about. I mean, I like it, um, but I just rather the first book, I guess because we're getting to know the character. The first books are always the best. You're getting to know the characters and um, the just this like the, the slow burn of it all, I guess, like Eric and Jesse you know, discovering each other, how they discovered each other. It was sort of like a forbidden kind of thing. Um, and then book two is like pretty much just the, how their relationship is progressing. It does um, have a little bit of darkness to it. Not, I say darkness, but very lightly. Like there's, there's just some mention of sexual child abuse. So if you're sensitive to that, it's, it's really not bad because I'm very sensitive to that. I don't like reading that, especially in graphic detail. But this is not, um, it's not a graphic detail type thing. It's just, it's mentioned, it's talked about, it's, it has a lot to do with the second book. So it's there. Um, but I'm getting, th I'm, I'm, I'm getting through it. It's not, it's kind of just like in the background. Um, it's not, even though it's, what most of the book is revolving around, the actual abuse is not there, is what I'm trying to say, I guess. So, so it's, it's readable or listenable or whatever. Um, so I'm anxious to see what book three 
is going to develop is like what is that going to develop into so I think I'm gonna start that one next because I'll probably finish book two today because I just have two hours left so that's what's happening in the world of reading not very exciting I know but um I'll keep that posted Today is going to be a fun-filled day of gardening and probably washing my car, maybe, get, maybe getting in some pool time. I don't know. We'll see. The husband says it's supposed to rain, so, but it's beautiful right now. I am empty of a kitchen table as of right now, but um, a new one will be coming in soon today, so that is also happening. Uh, but just wanted to catch up on my reading. Um, I actually did not start the third book in the BFF series yet because I just finished the second one like last night. Well, I finished listening to it last night. Um, so I started physically reading um, Upside Down by N.R. Walker. Really, really cute so far. I will so far. I'm like over halfway done already. It's, I, I, I can't put it down. Like It's, all, it's really good. Um, it's about two uh, gay men uh, who are also asexual uh, in a relationship. So it's really sweet and just interesting and just very different than what I've read before. So uh, I'm really enjoying it. But um, last night, my, my best friend Debbie and I had a little impromptu little get-together, I guess. We try to get together at least once a week just for our sanity because we just kind of like, we can vent to each other and like we're cool with it and we just I don't know it's something about a best friend that just helps you cope with life I guess <laughs> but we ended up at Barnes and Nobles of course my doings my fault um, but I got a few books I'll show you all the books that I already read but I just wanted the physical copy which is um, one of them is Aristotle and Dante discovered the universe I actually listened to this on audio at the beginning of this month and I loved it. Very, very sweet little young adult um, gay romance. So cute. So I just had to have the hard copy. I also wanted auto autobiography, but they actually did not have that one at the Barnes and Nobles we went to last night. They do have it at the one I usually go to, so I'll probably go sometime this weekend. Either, if not, well, I'll have to go tomorrow because I have my 20% off coupon ends tomorrow. Um, so I'll probably go pick that one up at the other one. Um, I also picked up Every Day by David Le Levithan. Levithan? Levithan? Um, this one I actually listened to also on audiobook like a couple months back. Um, before I even like knew like booktube was a thing. So... Um, and I, it's so, so good, y'all. It's a young adult. Um, it's about like a the 16-year-old, I don't even know what to call it, a being. Because this, this person wakes up every day as a different person. And has to live the life of that person she wakes up in, or he wakes up in. And um, in the beginning of the book, in one, the, the first life that this person wakes up in is a guy who's in a relationship with a girl, um, and this, this guy is apparently not a very good boyfriend from, you know, from what I gathered in, in like the first part of the book, and so this person that is now in the boyfriend's body, or incorporating in his body, or whatever you want to call it, um, actually falls in love with the girlfriend. 
So every day as this person becomes someone new, whether it's boy or girl, they are still in love with this, with this girl. And they try to find her um, every day being a different person. It's just, it's just so good and just so sweet. And it's just, it's almost like a, like a lesson learned in, um, in just acceptance of who you are and love is love kind of thing. So a great read um, for any month. I was going to say for Pride Month, but obviously this is probably going to go up at the end of this month. But I highly, highly recommend this book. It was so good. I really enjoyed it. And it says now a major motion picture, so I'm going to have to look into that because I don't remember it coming out or anything. Um, it does have a, a sequel to it, I believe, so I definitely want to look into that. So that, but then I also picked up two other books that um, I have not read yet, but one, one is just a sweet little book called A Short History of the Girl Next Door by Jarrett Reck. The cover drew me in. It's, it's just something about this cover that's really appealing to me. And, um, and, and the synopsis on the back is, it's from the guy's point of view. It's a young adult. I think I said that. I don't know. Um, and I really like it when it's from the guy's point of view for some reason. I don't know. That's just my thing. Um, I, I find it more interesting coming, coming from like a guy's mind, I guess. I guess as a female, we don't really understand <laughs> men sometimes, you know. So it's just really interesting to read what a guy is thinking. So it's a little, like a little short story kind of book. Um, uh, a little blurb on the back says, Seriously, how can you see a person nearly every day of your life and never think a thing of it? Then all of a sudden, one day, it's different. So it just sounded really cute. Um, so I, I'm going to give that a go. And then I also picked up Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. And... Um, yeah, this is just highly talked about, and I've been wanting to pick it up. Um, I want to try to fit it into this month, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to because there's still like I still have upside down to go, um, which I'm a little over halfway through, and then I want to read the third book in the BFF series, and then also Pretty Things. So I don't know if I'm gonna have time to fit this one in because it's quite thick, but um, but I will be reading it soon, if not listening to it. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so that's what I picked up last night, just a little haul. I figured it was just not really enough to do like a whole video on, so I thought I'd include it in this. But yeah, so that's what's happening today. Hopefully, maybe later on, I'll get some time in to read. We'll see. Here's the new table. Put the light on. It's actually not new. It's more, it's new to me, but it's, it's passed down. And uh, my sister-in-law and I redid the top. It's, it's still a little tacky from yesterday. We thought it would be dry, but it's still a little tacky. But that's it. Looks so much better than what I had. It just gives a little bit more contrast. I had to show y'all. Can, can you see this? How beautiful. Is that man on this cover? Oh my god. Like I can't I can't even get away from the cover in order to read the book because it's so beautiful. Wow. So I finished um the BFF series, Best Friend's Father. We're introduced back to I mean Ty's like kind of in the background of the second book, but it's mostly Eric and Jesse. And then in the third book, Ty come kind of comes back into play a lot. And, um, and then we get a new character, Liam, which is Ty's father, father's good friend. And Ty's father is Eric, which is Jesse's boyfriend. <laughs> it's all very confusing. But if you read the book, it's not that confusing. It's totally readable and you'll totally get it. Um, but anyway, so I, I just wanted to make sure I read all three books of the BFF series. So I, I would know a little bit about... Liam. Um, so you don't get much of him in the third book. But you get, how do I say this without giving it away, but you, you get something about Ty that leads to this third book. Because this whole time you're thinking something else. I'm, I'm being very vague, but 
that's the best way I can <laughs> describe it without giving it away. But, um, but anyway, I'm looking forward to reading this book. And this is actually the last book that I have planned for the month. Um, because the BFF series I was not planning on reading, although I did listen to the second one. And I read the third one because I ran out of credits. And Scrib didn't have it. So I read it. Which it was a very quick and easy read because I, I enjoyed it very much. So I did enjoy it more than the second book so I get I did give it five stars because like it had it had a lot going on when the second book was just kind of just um it just about Jesse and Eric's relationship and not that that's a bad thing it was good it was just like nothing else was there um so in the third book they started introduced um the author introduced more things um in in the third book hello Bella Um, so yes, this is the last book, and today is Wednesday, June 19th. Um, so, so yeah, and I don't think it'll take me long. I'll probably finish it probably this week, so I don't know if I'll be able to squeeze another book in there for, like, the last week. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Or maybe I'll just take, like, a little week off of reading and maybe catch up on some of my shows on DV on my DVR that I need to watch. But um, just really been enjoying reading all these books. I am, however, ready for some good thrillers. So July, I think it's going to be a thriller month. I have not heard of any readathons. I'm kind of ready to do a readathon. I'm kind of um, wishing I would have done at least one of the three readathons that went on this month. But or was it four? But it's okay. I mean, I could still do the summer a thon, which starts on Friday. Hmm. I could still do it. I don't know. I'll think about it. Today's lunch turkey sandwich with some cucumber and lettuce, some carrot sticks. And I am on chapter 11. And it's Ty's point of view. It's really good. This is Pretty Things. It's definitely different than I thought it was going to be. Kind of interesting. Got a little uh, twist on this little romance here. So, so that's fun. I decided not to do the um, Summerathon because I don't think I'll be able to finish this tonight. And the Summerathon starts tomorrow uh, on Friday the 21st. I'm going to try to read a chapter while I eat my sandwich. I think that hump right there is a kitty. Ignore that. That's something to do with truck parts. <laughs> my husband is um, rebuilding a 67 Chevy. I'm not sure what this is. But, more importantly, what is that lump? <laughs> Isabella, what's she doing? It was nestling. Yeah, let me get under here with you. Oh, that's close. Okay, get out of focus. Okay, I'll leave you alone. Bye. Happy Friday and happy summer solstice, first day of summer. I haven't read much today. I've actually um, been working and doing stuff around the house, so I've been, I decided to listen to Red, White, and Royal Blue since I still had like a whole week left and we're still in the month of June, so I still wanted to keep with my whole Pride Month thing, thing going. Um, so I did get to chapter seven. Seven. Chapter seven. It's really cute. I really like it. I've, I've been kind of like chuckling um, just listening to it. It's really cute. The little relationship between um, Henry and Alex. 
Um, but I was just kind of flipping through it a, l a minute ago, just, just kind of because I really don't know what to do with my time right now. <laughs> I'm just kind of being lazy. I didn't realize this, but Casey McQuesten, the author of this book, is from southern Louisiana. So I thought that was pretty cool. It says um, she grew up in the swamps of southern Louisiana where she cultivated an abiding love for honey butter biscuits. Yes, girl. And stories with big beating hearts. I just thought that was, um, I just thought that was pretty cool. I just thought I'd kind of share. So that's the reading, what's happening on the reading front today. But I'm sure um, I'll probably finish this and Pretty Things sometime next week. And uh, and that'll be the end of this blog. And it's gonna, our blog, did I say blog? I said blog. Blog. It's gonna be pretty long. I apologize about that. I'm not gonna do this whole monthly thing again because I know that's gonna be too long. Even though my clips, I think, are pretty short. But I think it's all gonna add up to be pretty long. Um, so I may, I may cut some things out. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Have a great weekend. Bringing y'all in the pool with me today. Pool's a little dirty. Just a little bit. Not too bad. Let's see what it feels like. Very warm. Very, very warm. <laughs> yeah. We had the sprinklers on today too, so. See if I can set y'all up on the deck. So as to not drop the camera in the pool, that would be great. So, excuse my obnoxious hat. I was out here yesterday, so I'm hoping this will help maybe block some sun in this area. Um, what was I going to say? I started reading this again. The Disasters by PC and Kristen Cass, just because I started it like in May, like kind of at the end of May, towards the end of May, and it just wasn't, um, I wasn't feeling it, and I'm still not really feeling it. I read a little bit, of, I read one chapter yesterday, but then Michael got in the pool with me and we started chit-chatting, so I didn't really get to read anymore, but um, I'm going to try to float around and read some more today in the pool. This is what I like to do. Let's float around and read. I have like a big beetle bug in the pool. I'm gonna attempt to get it out. We'll see how this goes. illustrations um, are graphic pictures which is pretty cool kind of gives um, a little idea of kind of like what you pictured your mind you know when you're reading it's um, almost like a graphic novel but not really it's it's in and the graphics are really pretty so that's one plus for this book. Um, other than that, I'm just not into it, which I'm upset about because I loved the House of Night series. Um, this one is just not, I don't know, maybe it's, maybe it's me. It's, the writing's good. The only thing, you know, and the story's there. The only thing for me is that they say G-Paul and G-Maw 
an awful lot. And I'm just not, I don't know, maybe it's just me. You know, we say mama and papa, and that might aggravate other people. But Gmo, like for your grandma or grandpa, really, I just, I don't know. Maybe, maybe kids these days do say that. I don't know. But that's one thing about this book that kind of annoys me. But um, other than that, it's good. I'm just not into it. I'm getting very distracted. <laughs> and I don't know why. I'm trying not to. But now Bella's out here. Hey, Bella. What you doing? Are you hiding from the sun? Of course I'd come out here. And it's starting to thunder. One day's clouds. So. That was fun while it lasted. Hey y'all, good morning. Happy Monday. This is, I believe, the last Monday of the month. I am still currently reading Red, White, and Royal Blue, or actually listening to it, actually, and um, reading Pretty Things. Pretty Things has actually taken me a little bit longer. I'm not that excited about it, I'm, which I'm very disappointed. It's It kind of has like a FBI-type vibe going with it, and I'm not sure how I'm liking that. Um, but it's definitely different. I definitely, I'm definitely going to finish it this week. I have my goals. I'm going to finish probably listening to Red, White, and Royal Blue first part of this week. But I think I'm going to go ahead and end my vlog here because it, as it's being the last week of the month, I have a lot to do this week like as far as like actual work goes. So I'm not going to have time to actually vlog or take time out to it's going to be hard to actually read um this week but hope i i think i i'm like over halfway through pretty things so i'm very confident i'll be able to get to it to by the end of the week but i wanted to get this up this video this vlog up actually before um my june wrap up so yeah, so that's what I just wanted to say that I'm just going to end the vlog here. I'm really enjoying Red, White, and Royal Blue. So of course I'll talk more about those my last two books in my wrap up. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope this isn't going to be too long of this video. I hope y'all enjoyed my vlog. I will try to do better at vlogging the next time I do it. I'm not sure. I have like a little plan that I kind of want to do maybe in August. I don't know if I'll be vlogging any in July. We'll see. Who knows what happens. Um, but I definitely have something planned for August that um, that I'd like to, to do. So, so yeah, with that being said, I hope y'all had a great month of reading. Uh, let me know what y'all read down below. I'd love any recommendations if you have any for me. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, I am off to Jazzercise. Let me show y'all my, my cute outfit. I don't know if we can see it in this mirror. Probably not. I look blurry. This mirror isn't any better. But I have I have these great floral um, leggings from Fab Fabletics. Uh, this little top is from Fabletics as well. Um, my bra, sports bra, I don't think you can see it. It's like a royal blue and it's got some fun like crisscross in the back. I don't know. But anyway, I love a good workout outfit makes makes you feel good makes you work out better I don't know maybe that's just me all right I'm babbling I have to go thank y'all so much for watching I'll see y'all next time bye y'all